guys, so today's vlog is going to be all about my makeup collection and how I organize them. Plus, a giveaway somewhere in this video, so make sure that you watch attentively. A lot of you have actually been requesting this video but it took me so long because prior to moving to this new space, I actually had no storage for my makeup, I had no space for any of them so they weren't in order, I didn't know where all of my makeup was, I didn't know what makeup I had so it was really a mess. So when it was time to move here to this new space, I really had to purge everything and go through all my makeup and a lot of them were expired so I had to throw them out because of course if they're expired already and I use them on my face and then if something bad's gonna happen on my face it'd be like oh, a mess. So anyway, so now I finally purged everything and fixed everything and this is my new vanity area and I'm gonna show you everything that is here. I actually don't count myself as a beauty addict in the sense that I don't really spend a lot of money on makeup or skincare but I've been really fortunate enough since I am in this line of work I get to be sent a lot of products and makeup and stuff like that so I'm really still super thankful because although I'm not a beauty addict I am a beauty lover so enough talk time to show you everything so as you can see, this is my vanity table. It's very, very, very nice. I love it because you've got the fancy lights over here so I can feel like I'm a makeup artist. So you can turn the light off and on here. There's a helpful plug so if ever I need to fix my hair or anything, I could plug it in there. This actually goes up and down. Ta -da! My sister really made it a point to look for something like this for me because I wanted to make use of the window especially when I'm putting my makeup on during the day I prefer using sunlight, daylight so it's nice to be able to use that and then I'll just use my small mirror but if it's nighttime and I feel extra 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 fancy then I could just put it up and open my light This is actually made by Vbox I will tag them so that you guys know how to contact them Ta -da! Ta -da! So basically, most of the stuff that I have here is the ones that I use every day. So I start off here. This is my daily skincare during the day. I think you've seen this already in my previous YouTube video. So yes, I really do use them. But then I always forget because I'm always in a hurry. But I still use them anyways. And so my moisturizer, all from the body shop. This is a face mist, an essence, and a serum. And then my beauty blender is also here, which is what I use for foundation and concealer. Ole Eyes, an eye cream that I like to use as well. Um, I have a different eye cream during night and a different eye cream during the day. This one I like using the day because it's kind of like a CC cream where it kind of color corrects your under eye area as well. And my oil film. This one I got from Kyoto in Japan. It's a really famous brand. Please don't mind my <laughs> nails. I have no time to use my nails. So I will be presenting my products like this. And my Shuimura Golden Eyelash Curler because I like everything in gold because I am a princess. No, I am a, a madam. And then these are my makeup brushes. I don't really use all of them because as I said, I'm not a beauty addict so some of this I don't really know how to use. But I like to put them all here. So these are all my big brushes. Most of them are from Real Techniques Sigma. This is from Makeup Forever. I like this because it's two-in-one. So if, for example, I'm lazy to bring this Real Techniques, I just bring this because this is my contour brush and my blush brush. I also use this to contour. It's a sculpting brush. This one is also by Real Techniques. It's called the setting brush, but I actually use it for my highlighter. This is actually not from Real Techniques, but it kind of looks like it. I forgot where I got it. But um, this one is what I use when I'm putting on loose powder. This is another one of my favorite. I'm probably using a lot of brushes for areas that are not really made for so I'm so sorry if you're a real makeup artist or a real beauty junkie not a pretentious one like me I'm so sorry but this is what I use and it works for me this is the Sigma diffused crease E38 so that's what I use for my nose line because my nose is not perfect I know this a lot of you have told me this 
<laughs> and then this is my favorite eyeshadow blending brush. I actually saw this in one of my beauty blogger friends' IG stories and I thought that maybe I should follow her because she's not pretentious. She probably knows everything. Anyway, so this is what I use to blend. These are just some of my favorite brushes. And then I have a few of my brushes here as well, just for last minute brushing. But I don't really do my hair on this table. I do it in the bathroom. So that's just for last minute fixes. But I'll show you this really cute container. It actually matches my chair. I got this from the Maarte Bazaar in Rockwell. It's actually hand-painted, so I really, really like it. And then a bunch of these organizers that I got in acrylic. These are all from Muji. You can all disassemble them, but they're also stackable. It's easy to organize them and move them around. These are also from Muji. This comes as a set. You can use it like vertically or horizontally. I like to use it horizontally because I don't want them to fall. I'm so clumsy. They'll probably fall. So these are more of my lipsticks, lip glosses, lip balms, lip tints. So I've got a pretty good collection, I think. And I'm really thankful for everyone who has contributed to this collection. So these are all my lip pencils. Most of them are from MAC. Inglot, Rimmel. I like rosy or mauve-ish or coral shades. Oh, I also have one from Obsessive Compulsive. Oh, and also Kylie's. I like Kylie's so, so much. These are all my MAC lipsticks. A bunch of them are already thrown out because they were probably already expired. So, sayang. But these are a bunch of my favorites. Flamingo. Kind of sexy. That's my favorite. It's kind of nude, peachy. So that's what you guys always ask me whenever I wear. And then if it's kind of like maybe light pink-ish, then that's Max Please Me. This one's also a favorite. Razzle Dazzle. It's actually what I used on here now. I mixed this one with Mac Bad Girl Really to come up with this. Oh, these are also my favorites from NARS. They're all velvet matte lip pencils. I've been using them since forever. I love, love, love them. I don't actually know how to use these. I <laughs> tong color blue. But anyways, I think you're supposed to mix them, right? My favorites here are Intriguing. You can use it for every day. I also like Bolero, but you definitely can't use this for every day because it's very, very light. I also have a bunch of lip pencils from Happy Skin. I really like them because they're very moist. They're very creamy. My favorite is actually the one by Liz. So you can see, it's really my favorite because it's already na siya. So it's one of her nude colors. So it's nude pinkish. I don't think they have this anymore because it was like a special collaboration. These are my lip glosses. As you can see, I'm not that big of a fan of lip glosses. But I do use them every now and then for that sheen factor. This one is from Mark Jacobs. I really like the color. It's very neutral. It's called Sugar Sugar. Sugar Sugar. sugar. This is also a favorite of mine. It's by Cleo Virgin Kiss Silk Quid Lip in number two Cheshire. A nice bold color. This one's also good for like fall, winter, or for Christmas holiday season. It's by Chanel number 608. It's nice though. Very like wine color and so smooth. When it comes to lip balms, my favorite is actually by Sugar. It's a lip balm that's tinted. I like it when they give me a reddish tint so my lips look super healthy. This is a bunch of like lipsticks naman that are like a collection of different brands and there's also like lip tints here. So these are my favorite, all from Benefit. So Posse Tint. And then this one is more for every day. Give you a bitten lip look. I have a tiny one as well for traveling. I love, love, love these as well from Body Shop. This is Dark Cherry, Dusty Rose, and Deep Berry. They all go on super smooth. This one also is worth sharing by Marc Jacobs. I really like Marc Jacobs' packaging. They're super pretty. Ta-da! Very neat. So I really like all these like different pinks and corals as you can see. But I also have dark reds for those days. Like for example, this one by Chanel called Gabrielle 19. I like these from 3CE as well. They also got this nude color so that when I have to mix and match, I also use this today. Number 202 Momo. Oh, these are my favorite also. Not my favorite. But anyways, this one is uh, from Bite. I think it's a Canadian company. I G storied it before, but basically these are all multi-sticks. So you can use it for your eyes, cheeks, lips. I got it as a set. They sent it to me and I love, love, love it. My favorite is actually this one, Blondie. I use it so much on my eyes because it looks nude here, but actually when you put it on your skin, or at least on my skin, it kind of looks peachy. So it's really, really nice. This one as well I like. It's Cashew. has a more rose color. A brownish one, which is Cocoa. And this one as well in wine color called Cerise. Ta-da! Look at it. It's 
so pretty. And then you just dab, 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 dab to like spread it out. It's blondy. See? So pretty, right? Now on to my other drawers. This one is full of my blush on, my everyday blush and highlighters. So just some of my favorites is this NARS Orgasm. I love, love, love it. I've been using it since I was, I don't know. And I also like this one. It's by 3CE. It's a cream blusher. It goes on super creamy. Of course, I don't put that much. And then for my highlighters, my favorite is actually this one. Benefits WhatsApp. And this one by Becca, which is called Champagne Pop. This is by Marc Jacobs in Air Blush. Take a look. So I still haven't used a lot of them, but I plan to. And on this area, I put all my foundation, my powders. So this one I use mostly every day, my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. It's oil-free. I use the color Bisque. And then I also use this BB Cream by Etude House. I don't really use this on my entire face. I just use this to conceal dark spots. I don't know why, but it works for me. So I usually mix the two of them, or I just use this to conceal dark spots, and I don't put anything else on my face. I also like to use this one. I actually just started using it. It's what I'm wearing now. It's the Lancome Matte Miracle 24-Hour Long Wear and Comfort Satin Light Creator. My color is PO03. And then this one is my most mattifying foundation. It's by Hourglass. It's the Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation Mattifying and Oil Free. My color is Shell. This one is by Laura Mercier. As you can see, I really like Laura Mercier when it comes to foundation. It's their Oil Free Supreme Foundation. My color, this one's actually darker than the rest of my foundations. It's Vanilla Beige. I prefer oil free since I'm already super duper oily. But you can actually cook and fry hot dog on it. Mm. So this one is Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15. I've really been fortunate enough to work with a lot of like local MAC artists and this is one of the foundations that they have recommended to me. It's in NC20. So I think this one my foundation for MAC as well. Oh, it's NC20 as well. So I also have a foundation by Laura Mercier. This is in number 5. I also like to use Korean one, so this is by Vanilla and Co. So you've seen me use this before where you just press it and then the liquid foundation comes out. This is by Chanel. It's a bit darker on me for times that I just came from the beach and I can use this one. Oh no, the mirror is broken. But anyways there. Oh no, I broke the mirror. It's because I used to bring this all the time in my bag. So this is the lightweight compact makeup radiant softness and comfort with SPF 10. Um, when it comes to concealers, this is my new favorite now. This is what I'm using for my under eyes. It's the Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS. This is in vanilla. This is also a pretty cool concealer. It's the Studio Fix Perfecting Stick by MAC. It's very full coverage, in my opinion. Another concealer, this one by Cleo. I like this. It's very creamy and light. And then the loose powder that I use, this one is by um, Sisley. It's what I use uh, whenever I feel like I'm a bit oily already. Then I use this. It is translucent, so it doesn't add any color. And now time for my palettes. Let's start with my favorite, ultimate favorite eyeshadow palette. It's Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Ta-da! I love it because all the colors are perfect. I actually use all of them, but you can see which ones I use the most. So I use it for mostly for every day or when I travel. It's the eyeshadow palette that I bring. You've seen it in my previous video. And this is my latest, this gigantic makeup palette by Morph. It's actually given to me by Lanelle Boutique. Look at that. Look at all those sparkles! And since you guys have watched attentively up to this point, I told you guys that I'm actually holding a giveaway and it has something to do with the Nell Boutique, which is responsible for this gigantic palette. You guys get a chance to win lipsticks as well from the Nell Boutique. These lipsticks. <laughs> all you have to do is follow these mechanics. Okay. Now that we're done with the giveaway portion, let me show you also the other eyeshadow palettes that I have. So I've got a bunch here from Makeup Forever. Greens, purple, I was addicted to them because I feel like they really brought out the color of my eyes. So there, what else? Oh, this one from Ikonura. If you guys are wondering where I got these, they were organizers. I actually got them from Make Room. They're actually in the kitchen area, but I decided that they're perfect for here. These are also cute from ColourPop. Oh, this one is actually broken. It's my favorite, but I broke it. <laughs> I've got all the makeup 
for but decay and naked palette because I love them. So one, two, and three. Three, two, one. Oh, this is also a favorite. I'm a favorite, talaga. By Laura Pro. I think Laura Pro um, eyeshadow palettes are really, really creamy. As you can see, I also use it a lot, which is why the palette looks like it was murdered. What else do we have here? Oh, ouch! Uh, injuries. It's not safe to vlog, guys. Anyways, here are my eyeshadow palettes. I will put them out so you guys can see them. In this drawer, I have actually also have a bunch of my mascaras. It's more of like my stocks, the ones that I'm not using yet. So, from Pericone, from um, Maybelline, see it's still sealed. Benefit, Dior. I also have an eyebrow palette, which I'm not really using so much because I got my eyebrows done. These um, bronzers from Michael Kors, we've got amazing packaging. Look at that. I have two of them. That color is Glow. And this one is Lush. These are my eyeliners and my eyebrow stuff and my eyelash stuff. <laughs> my favorite is Marc Jacobs. It's in brown out. So I actually prefer using brown eyeliner than black. I don't know why but I feel like black is too strong especially for everyday look. It's usually the Marc Jacobs one or this one from Benefit called the Bad Girl Liner. Also have a lot of like liquid eyeliners. This is from Benefit. It's black. Their real push off liner by Benefit. So I use brown pencil eyeliner for my lash line. On top, I usually use black. So that one or this one by Kate, a Japanese brand. Or this brown one from Dolly Wink and K Palette. And for my eyebrows, this one actually is from Maybelline. It's their Fashion Brow 3D palette. I actually use it more for my contouring for my nose. I use this one the most. These are a bunch of my favorites when it comes to eyebrows from Benefit and Vanilla Co. These are brown mascaras. And this one is a brow gel. Then, for my mascaras, you guys all know this, but Maybelline Great Lash is the best. So that's what I use. But I also have a bunch here that I haven't used yet, like Marc Jacobs, Dolly Wink. This one I've used way, way back, and I still love it up till now. It's Lancome's Hypnose Doll Eye Waterproof. I love, 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 love it. This lengthens more than volumizes. So if you've got a lot of lashes, but they're not that long, then that's perfect for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then for this side, these are actually my hair clips, my scrunchies, because I'm a 90s baby. Hit me, baby! Okay. So, then a, bu a bunch of elastics, my rollers, because you know, my bags need it. A lot of these are from Goody. Thank you, Goody. My bobby pin, my clips. So, these actually are shoe drawers. I used to use them for shoes, but I sanitized them and used them for my makeup instead. So, these are my skincare, a bunch of the socks that I'm not using yet. And then on that side is makeup that I'm also not using yet. So these are just my creams. This one I'm really excited to use. It's by Mario Badescu Seaweed Night Cream. A lot of these are also from Clarins, Olay, Lancome, Kiehl's, Vanilla, The Body Shop. And then on this side are my sunblock, also my mists, toning lotion. Here are my masks. This is my favorite eye mask. Favorite. It's really like when your eyes are already struggling. Okay, thought this will save you. These are also my favorites by BRTC Perfect V Shaper. So whenever I feel bloated, this is the one I use. Look at how it's shaped. See? It looks kind of funky, but it really works. And a bunch of other Korean face masks and eye masks because I'm addicted to them. And then, my makeup removers. These are all for my eye areas. Eye creams, Olay eye creams, Lancome, Benefit. So this is actually a cult product. You guys have to try it. It's apparently the best makeup remover ever. And now on to this area. This is actually my makeup kit. You guys have seen this. This is what I use when I travel. It's from Michael Kors. This one as well. You've seen this in my previous vlog. It's also what I use when I travel. This is where I put my brushes. So I keep them there whenever I'm not traveling or whenever I'm not putting on makeup in the car. These are my stocks for foundation and powder. Concealers. So there's a bunch there. There's some from Nature Factor, Marc Jacobs. I haven't used this, but I hear it's pretty good. It's the primer from Marc Jacobs. I've got Red Blonde here. Tinted Sunscreen from Sisley. Fresh Nude from The Body Shop. And here are all my falsies. And also empty eyeshadow palettes from Inglot. Like, a lot of these you can get from Thailand and Taiwan. So I've got enough falsies to last me a lifetime. <laughs> 
So now I've stopped buying and I vow to use them all. And then these are my, some more of my makeup brushes that I'm not using. Also some brush cleaners. This one is also from Lanel Boutique, which as I've told you, we're holding a giveaway with them. If you missed it, make sure to rewind. This is also for cleaning your brushes. So you basically just hold it like that and then you scrub the brushes there. And last but not the least, travel size toiletries. Basically everything that I've stolen from hotels. <laughs> and this is another favorite thing that I have here in my vanity area. It's my chair by Moss Manila. It's actually a good collaboration with them because I sent them a bunch of my pegs and they understood me so, so well. And I told them I really wanted a printed chair just to have an exit piece in my vanity area. So this is what we came up with. I like it because it makes me think of the beach, the tropics, the summertime. Summertime! Thank you so much for watching. That's it for today. You guys have seen my entire makeup collection and how I organized them. I'm so sorry I couldn't open all the palettes and everything for you guys to see. If that's something that you're interested in, maybe you could just message me and let me know that, oh, I wanted to see the thing in the two minute mark and then I'll try my best to show you guys what that is or what the brand is or what the name is but basically that's it for now I'm gonna say goodbye please make sure to subscribe like and comment below and join the giveaway that we're having here bye guys thank you so much oh please make sure to also suggest the videos that you guys want me to do I know room tour closet tour but suggest the way anything else as long as it's not obscene or weird but but yeah maybe weird is okay since I'm weird but yeah you guys know it bye Bye! Bye!